You're, you always want to talk to him? I got a speaker. Okay, yeah, yeah. he's gonna... Actually, he has yeah, to call he's... you what he said. He's, he won't tell me the number. Hey, how's it going? This is Brian from Rattlesnake Solutions. Uh, I just talked to Brandon and I'm headed your way. Uh, it says okay. about a little, just over a half hour. I should be able to get there a little bit quicker than that, though. Okay, right on. All right, see you soon. Thank you. It's in Scottsdale. It's a rattlesnake sitting up against the edge of the front door, which is a really common situation this time of year. Uh, it was like 75 degrees and super humid this morning, so there's a lot of snakes out there. I just don't think people are seeing them yet, so we're right on the brink of that. Anyway, going to get there as quick as I can, take care of it as quick as I can. I think it's going to be a busy day today. How's it going? I'm the Rattlesnake Solutions for... I okay. I just called him. Let me try again. Yes, sir. Hey there. I'm at the guard gate. Um, I was wondering if you could let him know that I should come in. Have you have you rolled up there yet? Are you yes. Trouble getting through? I, I'm here. They don't have me on the list though. Okay, gotcha. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what the number is. Let me try to find it. Real Actually, quick. I'll he's, my he might be able just to talk here. You always want to talk to him? I got a speaker. Okay. Yeah, yeah. he's got to. Actually, he has yeah, to call he's... you, he says. He can't do it by speaker. I got to call him? Yeah. Okay. Do, do you have. Would you be able to ask him what sure. number it is? Hey, what number should he call? You should call the wing gate. You should have the number. He doesn't know the number? Is he. You... He's, he won't tell me the number. Is he the resident? He's okay. the resident, yeah. Okay. Alright, I'll try to find it real quick. Okay, thanks. Alright, thanks. Bye. Yep. Some of these private security places can be complicated. Alright, third time's the charm. I'm headed back to Scottsdale. Thankfully, this time I didn't make it home. I was only 15 minutes down the road, so I'm almost there right now. A uh, lady called, she has a rattlesnake in her backyard. Uh, she said she's watching it like a hawk, uh, which is awesome. Almost there, so let's go get it. Hi. We were just talking about you. <laughs> how are you? Good, how are you doing? Great, happy to see you right this way. He's in the pool. He's in the pool. The little one, and it just floated this way on the little pool floaty thing. Okay. <laughs> little baby. What are you doing, little baby? Why are you floating? Little baby rabbit snake taking a little float. Oh, okay. I'm glad you found the floaty thing. You would have died otherwise. Very cute. All right, let's go see if you have any family around. All right, look at this little tiny snake. He's so cute. He's very small. Poor thing. Must have been terrified on that pool uh, skimmer thing. Uh, mosquitoes everywhere I go. Okay. Hi, little one. There you go. Oh, you're light. You're so pretty. See you later, little one. Bye. Alright, well, the kid went to go take a swim and he saw the rattlesnake just cruising on that pool skimmer or whatever that thing's called on the pool thing. Thankfully, it found its way to something where it could float um, because uh, if they can't get out of the pool, snakes will drown. I don't know how long the little one was floating, um, but I got to hurry back to my car. I'm definitely parked illegally. All right, I'm through. 
I get it. Can't just have anyone rolling in here. Even though, I mean, if you wanted to, you could just walk around the gate, I guess, in any of these communities. But, you know, the, I think the feeling of it is what people want. Anyway, after like a 15 minute delay, I am back on track to go get this snake. You got to talk to? No? Okay. How are you doing? This is usually pretty easy, but we'll see. Yeah, it doesn't always go that well. <laughs> when they're they're sitting there sleepy like that, they're used to sleep. It's awesome. Yeah, some of them get they get pretty excited. I'm just gonna take a quick peek around here. First. It's an easy one. He's by himself. It's just a big male. Yeah. Is there usually multiple when you see one? Or it depends. You know, if it's something like that, then not so much. But if it's just uh. You know, if it was like a female that was about to give birth or something like that, I would look around a little bit right. differently. So, thanks for getting out here so fast. Oh, no problem, actually. That was a little slower than I should have been. A gay guy is always a pain in the I'm down here looking for a place to release this guy, and actually, I'm in some pretty exceptional habitat right now. And of course, I gotta watch for bees because stuff that snakes like. It's also the stuff that uh, bees like. So this is a large male western diamondback. All the moisture is kind of moving stuff around. That's to be expected. This particular home has a lot of lantana and a lot of really well shaded, well watered areas. I mean, it's kind of on a little island out near the edge of this desert. So if I took it really close, really nearby, just across the fence or something, uh, it's just gonna come back immediately. And there's a lot of people working there in the yard. Um, so it's not going to go by unnoticed. So I'm taking it a little bit further away to within its home range. There's some really exceptional habitat that I'm sure this snake has been to before to let it go there. And along the way, it's a little bit of a stressful experience for it, which isn't always bad. Um, stressful experiences happen in nature for animals that are predated uh, or become prey by other animals. So. It's not unnatural or even bad for an animal to occasionally undergo some stress. What it is learning is that the spot that it was captured is not that great of a spot to be. It's so easy going, going in. Let's see if you see it coming out. You do it by yourself. Right way. There he goes. You want to get into that cave and get well hidden before it gets hot. There he goes. Long, big, fat tail. That's a healthy male. Well, good luck.